To the seven-year-old girl who had to watch me and my brothers jump her daddy after school, I'm sorry. I know that was probably a traumatizing experience for you, but we kept asking you to stop bullying my daughter and you wouldn't listen. We sent letters home. We even had a meeting with you and your parents and you wouldn't listen. So now you know your actions have consequences. And since you're too young to receive those consequences, you had to watch your daddy take those consequences. Get some therapy. You'll be all right. A lot of y'all keep asking why I didn't fight this man one-on-one. -on -one and why I got my brothers to jump him in front of his seven-year-old daughter. And the answer is simple. Life is not fair. You get jumped by responsibilities every day. Bullying is not fair because you're picking on somebody that's essentially a weaker vessel and that's smaller than you. So I wanted to make sure she saw what it looked like when a fight is not fair and you don't have no choice but to let somebody jump you so she could get the concept of what she was doing. Sometimes kids learn from what they see and not what they hear. So I wanted it to be a visual experience, okay? I'm out here doing the Lord's work, okay? God is pleased with me whether or not y'all are. I doubt this is real because I've heard variations of this story. I just hope people are not dumb enough to pull this off and especially admit to it on camera. People really don't understand how easy it is to end up in prison behind a fight. But if it did happen, I'm actually okay with this because they went through all the steps. Every man is responsible for what comes out from underneath his own roof. Too many kids are committing suicide over school bullies. God forbid his daughter offs herself. All we offer is our condolences along with the family of the bully. I don't know. When it comes to your kids, you do what you must. I know I won't play about my kids. If there's anyone that will make me go out of character, it is definitely them. So yeah, I'm on bro's side. And again, he said he tried other alternatives first before using that as a last resort. But then again, what if the dad they jump decides to retaliate? Then what? That is an excellent way to make two or more families fatherless because they couldn't solve the problem without violence. People don't understand that many people are in prison because they committed literally one crime. It could just be fighting. Even worse, if the person you jump ends up dying due to the fight, then what? It is not worth it. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.